See, when he first appeared to them in the, in the upper room, they saw him and everything, but they, their belief was so shaky that after he disappeared, you know, he disappeared after that. They could have thought maybe they just saw a vision or something. You know, like maybe, I don't know, maybe that was, did you see it? Did you see what I saw? Yeah, but he hung around for 40 more days, and he would appear and disappear. And appear, he'd eat some fish. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? He would, for 40 days, he would preach the kingdom. He would let some other folks see him. What was all of this about? Infallible proof. Without a shadow of a doubt. This is too important for y'all to be wondering if I really rose from the dead. See how important the resurrection is? It's like, no, no, no. I have, you all have to know that what I said really happened. Okay, now. Here we go. So they, they, they believed, we hope, <laughs> when, when he first introduced himself to him in his resurrection body. Certainly, if not, over the next 40 days, they definitely believed, right? They believed before they got filled, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, what about the next one? When, a after he had been with them for 40 days, what was the last thing he said to them before he ascended? But you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be, there it is, and you shall be witnesses unto me. See, he was talking directly to the apostles. He was telling them, you, you're going to be able to tell. You, he, he, what he was really saying is, you are the witnesses. Of me. You are the ones that saw me die. And now you see me. You see me right now talking to you in this resurrected body. He said, but you're going to need some power to be more fearless witnesses of me. Because you're the only ones who actually saw me. And when you start telling people about that, you know what they're going to say. You cray cray, right? They're going to say, no. Uh -uh. So he said, I need you to have some Holy Ghost power so you can be so bold that you won't, you won't fold. Right? Bold so you won't fold in all these places. Okay, so they first believed once he presented himself in his resurrection body. Then he told them after those 40 days to wait 10 more days and they would get filled with his power so that they can confidently tell others what they saw. Right? Right? What about being led. Romans 8, 14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So, the, 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 the mark that we are the sons of God, truly, is we're led by the Spirit of God. Were they led by the Spirit of God? You better believe. You better believe. Once they got filled with the Spirit, they just were led in places they never thought that they would go. And guess what? The same is true with us. We get born of the Spirit. We get filled with the Spirit. And then we, we through our will, we allow God to lead us by His Spirit. And every day is an adventure. Every day is an adventure. We don't know where God's going to take us. We don't know. I, I'll say it to you like this. Uh, we don't know who God is going to take us to. Right? So, in conclusion, we're studying the book of Acts to see how to live the supernatural life that Jesus promised us. Where did he promise us that? In John 10, 10. He said, I come so that you might have life. All right? That's, that's eternal life. That's forgiveness of sin. But, but he did put an and on that. <laughs> And that you might have it more abundantly. In other words, it's the same thing I just showed you. The apostles already had eternal life. They were already born again. Right? But Jesus said, wait a minute. What did Jesus say? Look. He said, hold on now. I need you. Here it is. I need you to receive some power from the Holy Ghost. 
and then you're going to be my witnesses. You're going to go out there and you're going to, there's going to be some supernatural things that are going to be happening to you. And guess what? I got news for you. Some people think the supernatural things are uh, miracles, events, or whatever. But based on what I can sense in the spirit right now, these supernatural things have to do with people. They have to do with how God wants to connect you with people. It's not, am I going to get supernatural? Me and Dr. Cece, that's a carnal mind. Carnal. He's trying to talk to you about supernaturally how, uh, like this woman that just traced me down through Facebook and asked me to preach at her father's funeral. You know, hadn't seen her in, what, 20, 30 years or something. Supernatural things. Supernatural things. Supernaturally finding these cabinets on the on the side of the road mm -hmm. um, so that we didn't have to spend any money to do that. And they were in good condition, but then we were able to get them. But, but it's not the cabinets, it's, it's things that will help us advance the kingdom. And it's, it's reminding us, now here's the key point, that when we have favor and resources, we don't even need money. Now that's some deep stuff right there. Wait a minute now. That's some, wait a minute. We all need money. I didn't say we don't need money. And I don't say we can't use money. But I said when we have favor yes. and resources, yes. when that happens, many times you won't need money. My time is up. I thank you for your time.